there's really no parameters for what abuse of power is. So normally, say in a criminal case, you know what the elements are of the crime that you're charging. Here, I don't think that, that the House managers even know what the elements are of abuse of power. And so, I mean, we can ask these questions. They're important to get out there. And nobody's going to be able to provide any evidence that's going to show that the president uh, did anything, uh, withheld any money to put pressure on Ukraine that the Ukrainians, uh, President Zelensky was aware of. Of course, they don't have the evidence for that. But we got to go back even further and say, what the heck is this? And this is what Professor Dershowitz was saying. What even is this article of impeachment to begin with? It's, it doesn't even exist. And uh, we're trying to remove a president for something that's not even a legitimate basis for impeachment. Right. Well, and I, I, that's why I said I think we need to stick to the basics here, because if you get into the weeds, it's easier for the Democrats to pivot and dodge and try to uh, try to hide the truth behind, you know, details and information dumps and all of that. But if you stick to the basics, the very basis, the premise, the foundation of the allegation is that President Trump engaged in an inappropriate quid pro quo. And to this day, Months and months and months after this allegation was first made public, there's still not a single bit of proof. No testimony, no transcript, no Ukrainian counterpart who knew about this, no proof that this allegation took place. And the person that levied this allegation heard about it secondhand. The person from which this allegation stemmed didn't actually have proof himself. It's literally a frivolous allegation, and I think that they need to hammer that home. The other thing that I would say that they need to do is they need to talk about Burisma and Hunter Biden, and not, not in the sense of the wisdom of Hunter Biden's judgment being on that board, but they need to ask. The United Kingdom investigated Burisma for money laundering. Every witness, every Democrat witness in the House inquiry who was asked said that Burisma was known for corrupt dealings and that it created at least the appearance of a conflict of interest for Hunter Biden to be on that board. And Republican senators need to ask the Democrat House managers, were, was the United Kingdom wrong? Were the Democrat witnesses wrong? And if so, why?